Y'all, we just got done eating breakfast and I want to show you these little stinkers out here. They're out. Girls, what are you doing? You're not supposed to be out here. You're supposed to be in there with your friends. <laughs> what are you doing? Hi. <laughs> are you hungry? You want some breakfast? Broke out. Hey y'all and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, I'm so glad that you decided to stop by. If you're not new here, I'm glad you decided to stop by too. Thank you so much for watching today. So this video is going to be a little bit different than what I typically will share on a normal basis here on the channel. And to be completely honest with you, the rest of the summer may actually look like this too. Um, just here on the homestead, we have a lot of things going on during the summer. You know, of course, we have the garden to tend to. We'll have the garden to harvest and garden tours. We have our chickens. They have been moved out on grass, and so that's an experience every day. <laughs> as y'all saw earlier, some of them had gotten out, and as soon as I turned the camera off, it's like all of the chickens that were still in the um, fence, they like ganged up together and they pushed the fence over. So they all just came barreling out. <laughs> so that was fun. Um, sadly, I didn't get that on film, like I said, because that would have been really funny to see. But Tyler, he took care of that. And today is going to be just kind of a chill day. I do have to work today. So um, later this afternoon, we're going to get to go outside. I want to show you all a few things that we've done, maybe kind of get you up to speed on the garden. We are going to be having a garden tour coming up really soon. I just need to kind of get in there. I have a lot of weeding to do. Um, I need to like put up some tomatoes. They're starting to get a little tall and want to fall over. So I need to take care of that. But I am going to share a really yummy dinner with you today. So if you came for recipes, trust me, I'm still going to share recipes every single week with you. But I'm just going to add in some more of our day-to-day -day life as well. So I hope that y'all enjoy it. Let's go ahead and get this day started. <laughs> ¶¶ 
All right, so I am done with work for the day. Pretty excited. Now, some of y'all may not know this, but I actually do have a full-time job other than being on YouTube. Um, I'm very blessed because I get to work from home. But since I am done for the day, Tyler took care of all the animals this morning. And so typically what I do is in the afternoon, I'll come out, see if they need more water. Um, uh, today, I'm actually gonna feed the baby chicks, which I actually don't think y'all know about that. All right, so now I got the baby chick feed. They're actually in the coop that the big chickens were in. Now, as y'all saw, we finally got the big chickens moved out on grass. Of course, I'm coming in the garden, and I swear y'all, it gets bigger by the day, or like by the hour, I swear, it's so amazing. If you never had a garden, it's just, it just brings a lot of life to you because it's amazing how a teeny tiny seed can grow into such an amazing plant and just give you lots and lots of food. But the chicken, we put the garden in the chicken yard. So I have to go through the garden to get to the baby chicks. Now these baby chicks, they're not all for us. About a little more than half of them are actually Tyler's brothers and he doesn't have an area where he could keep little baby chicks without putting them in the house. So we decided, since we were getting baby chicks anyways, we would just raise his up until they were big enough to like go out on in a, um, like in a mobile coop that he's gonna do. And so, hello. <laughs> Let me show you them. Hello, look at y'all. Just flying everywhere with your feathers. I got you food. Are you hungry? Hi! <laughs> so we are out here in the garden. Y'all, it is so beautiful. <laughs> I have a ton of weeds that I need to take care of. I probably haven't weeded. It's been at least maybe two weeks. So I've let it go way, way too far. I kind of feel bad that, I mean, it just means it's more work for me now. <laughs> but I'm going to clean this up and after I get it cleaned up, I'll do a garden tour video. So make sure you are subscribed if you are excited to see that. This is not the first time Tyler and I have had a large garden, but this is the largest garden that we've ever had. So I'm really excited. It is a lot of work, but it's a lot of rewarding work. So um, Tyler bought me a weeding tool that helps so much. Like, um, and then, he, well, what do I say? He bought the tool and then he bought a rod that was really long. It was like six to eight feet long. And so I'm not having to bend over as much and so my back don't hurt. So I love that. Something that y'all might think is funny is that this right here is a tomato plant. I did not plant this, okay? Now, like I had said, this was the chicken yard before we'd put our garden in here. And so there are a ton, and I mean a ton of tomato plants just randomly growing. Like we have this one here. We have a little one right there. We even have one over here in the fence by the peppers. So along this back row here, I know I'm probably telling y'all stuff I'll tell you in the garden tour, but this side right here, or this is gonna be a whole row of sunflowers. Now, a few of these are going to be like four to five foot tall is what the package said, but only like three of those came up. Y'all, I was getting discouraged when I was putting seeds in the ground because hardly any of them were coming up but I had a few come up and so when we went to the store to get more seeds I found these and oh, man I wish I remember what they, they were called they're called um a skyrocket sunflower and these are going to get 12 feet tall I mean it is going to be so magical I'm just thrilled so if y'all follow me over on my Instagram, y'all already know this, but if you don't, that's totally okay. We finally got barn doors for our barn. They are so beautiful. Tyler built these by hand. Now, 
I give him 100% of the credit <laughs> because I think I took a nap when he started building these and he got one completely done. I woke up from the nap and I was moral support as he built the second one. But the plan is that um, we're gonna paint these white to match the top of the barn. And I just think they're going to be so beautiful and he did such an amazing job. Okay y'all, so it is finally dinner time and we decided that we're gonna make loaded burger bowls. This sounds so good. I'm fixing to get Tyler in here in the kitchen with me and I'm gonna put him on burger duty. All right, so we take our ground beef and we're gonna put it in these muffin tins. I'm gonna, no, 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 no. You just take a little bit. You're gonna put it down in your muffin tin like this and you're gonna press it around. Go down. Seriously? <laughs> What are you doing? Save me your view. Take a little bit, no? Oh, I don't want a little, I want a lot. No, Tyler. No, it has to look like this. It don't look no different. Yes, it does. <laughs> so, do you have this handled? Oh, I gotta do all of it? Yeah, what I'm, are you gonna, gonna, do? I'm gonna do something else. Oh. <laughs> okay. Look that, that is good. Look yeah. Look That's that. a good idea. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so do y'all see what he's doing? No, I can't. <laughs> I'm gonna show him. Okay. He's using the back of our ice cream scoop to kind of make the indention in the meat. So that way we can have plenty of room to stuff it with our toppings, like our burger toppings. And I was thinking we're gonna do mushrooms, onion, like sauteed mushroom and onions. And then we also have bacon bits and cheese. Do you like that? Mm-hmm. Okay. So do you think you have this handled? Yes, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go over here and saute the mushrooms and the onions real How quick. long is this gonna take? The recipe said it's only gonna take 15 minutes in the oven. Okay. So it shouldn't, but with how thick yours are, it might take more. No, <laughs> Well, we'll time it for 15 minutes and then we'll check it. That one needs to be a lot more. Well, you know, I'm, I'm working on this. Okay. You gave me a hard task. I, this isn't... Well, do you want to chop up the onion yeah. and saute and all that and I'll do this? Yeah. Okay. Why don't you give me this one? Well, because I thought you would be good at it. No, I'm not good. You're not they good at it? They are really, really close to being done with that Whataburger. You, did you all look at it today? Yeah. Well, I saw it in my rearview mirror. I passed it and I was like, man, yeah, I almost forgot to look at it. Does it actually look like a Whataburger on the outside? Pretty now? much. Really? really? It was missing a couple of those orange tin pieces across the top. Yeah. But the rest of it was pretty much done. I feel like we're going to know when it's actually almost done when they're like doing concrete and plants and stuff. You may already have the concrete. You think so? You might. Oh, that'll be exciting. So I wanted to show y'all more a little up close. What I do is I just take probably like a golf ball size of ground beef. <laughs> Tyler says I do it wrong, but this is how I like it. And then I just press it in and we're gonna press it along the sides of the muffin tin. And whenever you put it in there, you're gonna see if you need more ground beef. Like mine was starting to get a little thin on the bottom. So I'm gonna put in a little bit more. We'll just impress it on the sides. Just like that. And we're gonna make like a little cup because you're going to put your um, filling on the inside. Okay. I think we ought to go in first. Do cheese first? No, just oh, bacon, thing. yeah. Because like, otherwise they'll spill out. Maybe. Yeah. So now we're filling up our little burger bowls. We're choosing to use bacon bits. You can make your own bacon if you want to, but in my opinion, it's very expensive. <laughs> so I just bought this little great value. Tyler. I didn't mean to. There it, ain't no room for nothing else. It doesn't come in. It doesn't. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't come out real even. See, like here, there's nothing in that one. Okay, these are going to be extra loaded. Yeah. They're going to be yummy. That's what you want. <laughs> okay, but we're just going to top these, which is our favorite. Um, I like sauteed onions and mushrooms, bacon and cheese. But if there's one of those ingredients that you don't like, don't put it in there. I also have some... You hear that cat? Yeah, I hear the cat. <laughs> I also have some green onions that are growing over in the windowsill, and I thought that would be like a pretty presentation for when they come out of the oven. 
to add a little bit of color. All right, so now that we have our cheese topped, we're gonna put this in a 400 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. So a little tip that I forgot to tell y'all about was the original recipe says to use a lean ground beef. For certain reasons, I understand why they would say that. Um, unfortunately, I don't have lean ground beef. Uh, typically when Tyler and I buy beef, we try to stay, stick within a pretty strict budget and just to be in that budget it's not a super lean ground beef and that's totally okay to me it's fine um, for this recipe i will say maybe try to use the lean ground beef and the reason is is because i walked away from the kitchen for a few minutes as i came back in the kitchen was full of smoke the burger um the little burger bite things they're totally fine and they look great but the grease that came out of the ground beef had overflowed out of the muffin cup to the bottom of the oven which created a lot of smoke so just a little tip if you <laughs> don't want to be totally terrified that your house is burning down try to use a leaner ground beef We decided to serve our little burger bowls with a side salad, so I just chopped up some lettuce, tomato, and cucumber. It's gonna be nice and fresh. Y'all, even though I almost burnt the kitchen down, these turned out really, really good. They look cute. I'm gonna go ahead and give one a taste for y'all. I mean, I don't think you can go wrong with it, right? Mm-hmm. That is so good. <laughs> Well, that is gonna do it for us this week, y'all. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with us around the farm, just seeing a little bit of our day-to-day -day life. That recipe is so good, so make sure you leave me a comment down below and let me know if you try it, and we will see y'all next week. Bye.